For me, it kind of it it hovers around the three themes of redemption, love, and hope, um, and whether that can be um, you know a loss of love or a gaining of hope. Um, and I just I, I feel like every character has a, a sort of ha has a, a different path of one of these themes. And I think for for Eponine, I think that she lives in this world where she doesn't know who good people are. Obviously, she's this streetwise, tough sort of kid, uh, you know, the daughter of the Tenardi. She is a watchdog for the law, um, you know, and, and you know, it kind of, her life becomes a lot darker. So she's, you know, she falls into, into a world that shows her no love, um, into extreme poverty. And, um, and I think what's beautiful is her escapism is this one young, beautiful student boy. ¿Quién eres, chica? Cosette. And I think seeing the effect that that has on her, this kind of, you know, feisty, fiery kid who's kind of not afraid of anything. She's actually fearless, I'd say, until she's kind of <gasps> struck by the emotion of love. And she doesn't, I don't think she knows what love is. I don't think love is something that she's talked about or thought about. It just kind of leaves her breathless. And I love, I love that about her. On my own, pretending... Wow. Um, so I had an involvement with the role of Eponine. I'd played it on the West End for a year and I played it at the O2 Arena at the 25th anniversary. And, um, and so, you know, I had an involvement with the role, um, but then I, you know, I had my first audition for, for Tom Hooper. And then that sort of following was a 15 week vigorous audition process, um, in and out and, and really sort of put through my paces, screen testing. Wow, when I finally got the role, actually, I was on stage um, up playing uh, Nancy and Oliver, and Cameron McIntosh, the producer, walked on stage and announced to a live audience that I was gonna be playing the role of Eponine. I gave her the role of Eponine in London, and then, of course, at the O2 um, for that amazing concert for the 25th anniversary. And now our director, Tom Hooper, has chosen her for the movie. Wow, on my own was the, the best day of my life. It was also the coldest day of my life, but it was the best. I think for me, it's like these songs are so iconic. And so to sing a song like on my own, you know, we, there's been so many wonderful interpretations of this of this song. It's scary, because you're like, you want to do the character justice. Um, but I, I think being able to, to sing it live in this way, we kind of, the benefit of that was that you could you were allowed to be so intimate in a way that you can't on the stage. You can, you can bring it right down, almost whisper these words. Like, it, it's it's so freeing, being able to sing it live, and it brought it, it brought such an exciting um, feeling to the process because you felt like you were creating something something more unique. I love him, but every day. Eddie Redmayne is just a dream. I remember, I remember when I actually I was auditioning for the role, his face was everywhere because it was he was uh, doing my work with Marilyn. I remember being like, that could be my Marion. <laughs> and oh, Eddie brings such oh, such a beautiful kind of realism to Marius. He's this real man, you know. I think he he worked so so like so hard at finding all the details from the book and um and when he like for instance when he sings a heart full of love he's nervous he's actually oh and he, he kind of stutters seeing the movie i just i don't come on me and me and eddie were sat next to each other in the cinema we don't actually come on stage for the first half of the film so we could sit back and go wow that's hugh jackman absolutely like giving the most incredible performance i've ever seen um and then there's Anne Hathaway, like absolutely breaking my heart, and Russell Crowe, and all these incredible like actors, and you could really sit back and appreciate it. As like, as fans of Lomis, we could sit back and then halfway through we were like, oh, we were just like pinching each other, like, no, I can't watch it because it's so weird. Because then you get nervous. Then you know, it, so it was a kind of mixed, a mixed bag of emotions. I think for me watching it, but half of me was like, wow, but the other half of me was like, oh, it was quite scary. <laughs> Strongest stand with me somewhere beyond.